exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Well, we do have some big changes in the forecast for this weekend and as we're heading into early next week, some showers and thunderstorms, some much needed rain. Some of those could be strong to severe and then cooler air behind this frontal system. We topped out in the low to mid 70s today. Right now, 73 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are out of the south southwest at 8 miles per hour. Atomwa 73 equally as beautiful with a lot of sunshine. Winds are out of the south southwest at 3 miles per hour. Again, a lot of sunshine, very pleasant. We should actually be about 60 degrees, so we were about close to 15 degrees warmer than what we are supposed to be for this time of the year. We are going to continue for a beautiful night with mostly clear skies across the area. However, increasing clouds and a chance for some showers and thunderstorms as we're working our way into late Saturday. A beautiful morning and then as we're heading into tomorrow afternoon, anytime after 4 o'clock, we could see a pop up shower or thunderstorm and then after 7 to 8 o'clock, that's when we're going to get the chance for some more uh, thunderstorm activity. Some of those thunderstorms could be strong to severe. And then as we're heading into Sunday, some heavier rainfall, a little bit cooler. We've got some more cloudy skies to deal with on Sunday, so the threat is going to be much lower than on Saturday. But notice back to Des Moines area, uh, some snow. Well, that's uh, we're not going to get any snow. We could see a little bit of a light changeover, especially early Monday morning. But for the most part, just some colder air is going to be filtering in behind this. Expected precipitation right now widespread one, possibly up to two inches. Uh, this model is only going through six in the morning on Sunday. But of course, we have the rest of the day, Sunday and Sunday night. Heavier rainfall expected throughout those time periods on Sunday. So for tonight, overnight lows, another mild night. In fact, warmer, 48 degrees with winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And hey, it is going to be a gorgeous morning if you are going to be participating in the 5K run, a one-mile walk. That's going on from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. in Macon at the North Shelter at Long Branch State Park. 59 degrees. Uh, you can sign up at 8.30 in the morning, but the race starts at 9 a.m. 59 and partly sunny skies. We're going to actually see temperatures warmer than what we did for today, around 77 degrees. Windy conditions will continue gusting up to 28 miles per hour before the precipitation moves in. So again, please do not burn outdoors. And then we do have the slight risk of severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center. Damaging winds, large hail, very isolated chances for tornadic activity uh, in our area. Here comes the cooler air moving in. 65 degrees on Sunday, 80% chance of thunderstorms. 35 degrees Sunday night, Monday a high of only 46 degrees. And we're working our way up to 56 by Wednesday. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. Loving this week, mm -hmm. not liking next week for right. sure. Look at this, 56, that's our overnight low tomorrow mm -hmm. night, and we're gonna be into the 40s. We'll just take it one day at a time, I suppose. One day at a time. Make the most of it. Yes. All right, thanks, Teresa.